You know, back in the day, the only way to make me happy was to give me an extra large, extra cheesy pizza. But as I've grown into an adult, I've unlocked a new way. You know, a new way for happiness. Watching the most jobless people on the planet get run over. Of course, we're talking about Just Stop Oil today. I made a whole main channel video on it, super long, 20 minutes, so you can watch that if you want to catch up. But essentially, it's just this dumb activist group that blocks roads. So today, we're watching this video, bus driver rams Just Stop Oil protesters blockade, nearly running them over. Guys, it's 9 a.m. and this is my job. I, I love my life. Okay, just for reference, this is taking place in Portland. Look at the amount of rejects on here, dude. We got the cameraman as well. Gotta film it for the organization. I don't know why they're yelling stop because I don't think the bus driver can hear you. I don't think you understand how the walls of a bus work or windows <laughs> in general. So something that's really cool is the passengers on the bus actually show up next to the window, just looking down on them, which is really yeah yeah. Look at this, look at this. So so these this is so th these are just random passengers on the bus. <laughs> And they're just kind of like staring them in the face, kind of mocking them. Which is really funny. Oh yeah, that, that did something there. <laughs> Idiots. Oh yeah, he heard that. <laughs> I love- Dude. There's people on the ground, you freaking idiot. Well, there's people in the bus, you freaking idiot. Don't stand in front of the bus. <laughs> Actual, like, what is this logic, dude? This dude should just accelerate. Look, I love how they try to keep lying on the floor and then they keep getting up because they're not man enough to actually die for their cause. <laughs> it's so funny. They keep running in front trying to lie down. Dude. Okay, okay, watch, watch. <laughs> Look at that person just meditating on the floor. Look at this. They, they just sat there on the floor thinking that, oh, well, this is this is the time. The, you know, this bus driver has been uh, moving forward for the last, like, 30 minutes straight. But this time, when I s sit in front, he's totally going to move. And then look, look when they move. Like, it's not even when they get close. It's literally like, look at this. Already, already gets up. No balls. Literally no balls. <laughs> You damn pussy. <laughs> if you actually care about the earth, go get it run over, dude. Holy shit. It's not what I actually mean. I'm just making fun of them. This is the most cardio they've ever done in their entire lives. They're like getting out of breath. Moving at a brisk pace with this bus. This is barely jogging, bro. My god And there we go Now they're getting tired of running The world is ending in a week, but I can't run for more than five minutes Look at this guy's on oxygen support there. Okay, that was pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. This next one is taking place in Germany, and this was only nine days ago. So I, I would love to cover every single one of these, but it is literally impossible. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the ones that show up on my timeline, okay? Obviously, the public has to start taking things into their own hands because the police aren't doing anything, right? There's a woman who got out of her car yelling at them. <laughs> wait, wait, did he take his glasses? What happened there? Hold up. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I just knocked out his glasses there. <laughs> okay, hold up. I imagine that's a swear or something. Any, I, I know I have German viewers, so can can you let me know like what they're actually saying? Just just the important parts, you know. Don't need to transcribe the whole thing, but I really want to know. <laughs> There we go. Just look at this. Look at what they have to do, man. Taking them out like babies, bro. They're using the infamous two man method that I was talking about. So, the cameraman, I think. I don't know. I think if the. Does the cameraman work for the news station or the just stop oil? Or. I don't know. Maybe it's a double. <laughs> Because Just Stop Oil actually like uploads these clips themselves because they want to show they're oppressed or something, but nobody's really buying that narrative. <laughs> Look at this mother flipper. His legs are dead. There we go. Let's go. May progress has been made. Nobody's touched the woman here. I mean... It's harder to drag them out. You need another woman to do it. There we go. There we go. I told you. I told you. Let's go. This guy's shirt is coming up. Ain't no way, bro. Come on. I mean, dude, at this point, they really don't. I don't even think they know what they're actually doing. Because, like, if their real goal was to stop the cars from moving, then they would constantly keep getting up and going on the road. At least the some of the protesters we looked at before, when they were dragged off the road, they run back in right in front of the cars. These people seem to give up, like, instantly. <laughs> like, their just legs stop working. I don't know if they're under some weird paralysis or something, but... It seems like they're not very, like, motivated for their cause. I mean, she's kind of getting pinned down there. Until the cars move. Honestly, respect for these members of the general public who are helping the cars move. Jesus, they got the camera, that's for sure. All right, so this next one is from Portugal. Um, a bit more violent, I'm not sure what I can show you, but I'll do my best. The driver, so this is a highway, which is why people are really pissed. In recent footage that has gone viral, Portuguese climate activist group Climaximo. Okay, so this isn't even Just Stop Oil anymore. We've gotten, we've gotten more recruits blocked the road before enraged motorists sensationally piled in <laughs> to throw them out of the way. Okay, it's the motorists you gotta watch out for. They're part of the biker gang. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't mess with motorists. You guys seen those motorists from Pokemon? Like, eat Pokemon, the most innocent game ever, and then you come across a motorist trainer, and they're just like this tattooed, buff biker guy who could just beat you up, and they're challenging a 10-year-old kid. It's hilarious, like, comical. What the heck? They're on the freaking bridge. Are they flying? What, what are they sitting on? What the hell is going on here? You think this freaking sign anybody cares about, dude? Why on a highway? That's like the most annoying place to be, man. Next thing, they're gonna be on like airports or something and they're gonna make people miss their flights. That's when people get really bad, okay? Airport rage is different from road rage. Okay, this one's in Berlin. Does that... Do they have an instrument? What is going on there? Oh, it's a grandma with this walking stick. What the hell is a grandma doing there? Oh my god, bro. Are you actually kidding me? You have the last years of your life and you're choosing to spend it like that. 
Unbelievable. You know her like son or grandson is brainwasher or some shit. The day before last generation released footage of a female activist screaming and whimpering as the police tried to remove her from the road. <laughs> Why is she screaming? Why is she screaming? What, you went through childbirth over there? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she's screaming like a- she's delivering uh, triplets, quadruplets. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? <laughs> Suddenly stop screaming the second they leave her. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I do have a theory. It's the they they do a particular type of grip behind your back, which kind of hurts your arms a lot. But they kind of have to do that because that's the only way you're gonna, gonna move. Um, without you know dragging the shit out of you, kicking the shit out of you, running you over. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a lot of things that work. Okay, but uh, that's the police protocol at least. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.